Hi there. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about conditional hide and show. And right here I have an example of, uh, of hiding and showing uh, objects on the screen based on uh, co certain conditions. I have a point A here. As long as A is in quadrant 1, notice that the text quadrant 1 appears uh, in, in that, that quadrant. As soon as I drag A over to quadrant 2, the text quadrant 2 appears. Quadrant 3 text appears when A is in quadrant 3 and likewise with quadrant 4. So each of these uh, text items, quadrant 1, quadrant 1 is a text item, quadrant 2 is a text item, see text 2. These different text items only appear under certain conditions. Um, this text only appears when A is in quadrant 1, this only appears when A is in quadrant 2, and so forth. So I'd like to share with you how you can set this up in GeoGebra. It's relatively simple to do. So I have a blank GeoGebra uh, window. Go ahead and open one up. I've hidden the uh, algebra view. I have graphics uh, view open. I've turned the grid off. I also like to turn uh, snapping off. And what we're going to do actually is create uh, four pieces of text to begin. There's a text tool here. Uh, choose insert text and type in quadrant one. Repeat uh, and uh, type the text quadrant two. Then uh, type in the text for quadrant three. And lastly, type in the text for quadrant four. Notice that you can move these around wherever makes most sense to you. I might uh, hold shift down a little bit and, and make these more add a little bit more symmetry to my sketch. Now next we're going to create a point A. So I pick the point tool, new point, click to make point A. We want to make A as big as we can, nice and colorful. So if you uh, right click on A, in the Mac hit control A, and then go to object properties, let's make the color a nice vibrant red and the point size really large. So here's our point A. Notice that when I drag A around, the text doesn't, it always appears. We want to change that. I only want this text to appear when the X and Y coordinates of A are both greater than zero. This text should only appear, appear when uh, the X coordinate of A is less than zero and the Y coordinate is greater than zero, etc. for these. So, uh, select the quadrant one text and right click on it. We want to look at its object properties. So for text one, um, we're going to go over to the advanced tab and the condition to show a text one is the following. We want the X coordinate of point A to be greater than zero and we want the Y coordinate of A to be greater than zero. Note that the double ampersand means and, and this uh, X of A actually returns the X coordinate of A. Y of A returns the Y coordinate of A. So that's basically it for this first item. Now the second text is the quadrant two text. I only want that to appear when um, the X coordinate of A is less than zero and the Y coordinate of A is greater than zero. Text three, I want it to appear when, when A is in the third quadrant. In other words, when 
when x of a is less than 0 and y of a is less than 0. Hit return there. Fourth quadrant, x of a is going to be greater than 0 and y of a is going to be less than 0. Once I have these conditions in here, uh, my sketch should work. Let's see if it does. Oh, looks good, good, good. So that's one example of conditional, uh, conditional uh, hiding and showing. Here's some other things you might want to try. How about uh, exporting your sketch? You're going to replicate my sketch. Export it as a dynamic worksheet. Uh, you could add, also try the following, add two or more text boxes that will display uh, when point A is on the X or Y axis. Currently if I drag A onto the axis, if I can do that just right, I can do it like so. How about A equals one zero? No text appears. Okay, likewise when A is on the Y axis, No text appears. We need to add text to account for those situations. Um, how about instead of a text box, make images that will hide and show based on the position of A. That would be a fun thing to do. So try these out, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you in our, uh, in our uh, discussion board this week. Talk to you later.